Uh, we now turn to item four, which is the uh, impact of becoming an executive non-departmental public body on staff and other employees. I'm going to invite Joe Boss to say a few words. Thank you, Chairman. Um, this paper simply outlines to the board the arrangements we've made to transfer employees from uh, the NHS Commissioning Board Authority to the NHS Commissioning Board, so from the Special Health Authority to the ENDPB. Um, it explains that the transfer is covered by an order which provides equivalent protection to TUPI. So there is no detriment to employees of the Special Health Authority from the establishment of the ENDPB. Uh, however, we wrote to all our directly employed staff last week to inform them about the establishment of the ENDPB and to explain that this has uh, no impact on their statutory or service continuity. Um, the necessary consultation associated with this was carried out by the Department of Health during the summer. Um, and it's as straightforward as that, really, that while we were talking about staff, I thought it might be useful um, to, to say a few words about staff who are working for us at the moment on the setup of the board who are not directly employed by us. So the majority of staff who are working in the commissioning board at the moment are on loan to us from the Department of Health and the, N the wider NHS. Um, many of them are working very long hours on very complicated issues, and I just thought it would be a nice opportunity to say thank you to them, because without them we wouldn't be here today. Um, and we uh, are pledged, as they know, to, to try and sort out their futures by the end of December. Thank you very much, Joe, for raising that. It's something uh, that we touched upon at our recent meeting in Newcastle. But I think you need to understand that the board is unanimous in uh, the respect and gratitude that it would wish to express to the staff. Uh, the last 11 months have been extremely difficult. I make no promise that the next 11 months uh, are going to be any easier. Uh, and uh, we do, as a board, have the very greatest expectations of our staff. Uh, so, so thank you, and please, we would be grateful if you would relay to them our gratitude for all that they've done. We are asked to note this paper, and I get the impression that we will be willing, as a board, to, to note it. Excuse me, Chair. I was just, I was just wondering whether, it, whether a letter from you to the staff thanking them for the work they've done so By all far. Means, I, would, I, would be, I would be delighted to do that. Thank you. Thank you very much. That brings us to any other business. I only have one item of other business, which is to report that the next meeting of the board uh, will take place on 8th of November and will be in Quarry House in Leeds. Is there any other business from members of the board? No, in which case, thank you. The meeting is closed. And can I please thank again members of the public for joining us this morning? And um, uh, you're very welcome. Uh, we. Uh, We'll look forward to much more engagement with you over the coming years. Thank you.